A teenager remains in the hospital after he was hit by a car in Mastic Beach Friday morning, which police say was no accident. The lawyer for the accused driver says it was her son who is the victim. News 12's Darius Radzius is in Mastic Beach with more. A Suffolk judge released 34 year old Jennifer Nelson after her arraignment and she's back home with her family. Her lawyer, Catherine Fernandez, was in court with her. She is entering a plea of not guilty. She's adamantly denying the charges. Police are accusing Nelson of intentionally running over a 15 year old in the parking lot near Mastic and Mastic Beach Roads Friday morning nearby William Floyd High School. This has stunned parents who live nearby like Lewis Morgan. It's not good. Like, this is just a bad look for the community. It's a bad look for the parents. Police say Nelson was confronting the teens after an earlier altercation. Her son called her uh, approximately 7.15, said he'd just been robbed, again, bullied. That had been going on for two years, the same group of kids, approximately 20 to 25 kids. Cops say when Nelson arrived, the kids began to disperse as Nelson struck a teen with her car. He was taken to Stony Brook University Hospital and is expected to survive. Fernandez says Nelson's son is the victim of bullying something she says her client has tried to resolve peacefully. Her son was bullied for two years at the high school that nobody did anything to help her uh, or her son. I do believe there was video surveillance of her son actually being knocked out, uh, knocked out cold by these bullies who also robbed him at knife point. As a father, Morgan says this is a frustrating situation. I just hope that the punishment fits the crime. Don't be over to the Donald to go overboard, throw the book at her. She is a parent trying to protect the children. So I understand where she's coming from. In Mastic Beach, Darius Radzius, News 12, Long Island. Nelson is facing charges that include second degree assault, reckless endangerment, and leaving the scene of an incident without reporting a personal injury. Now, we have also reached out to William Floyd High School for their response, and we are still waiting to hear back.